Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something simple and easy to learn. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a LED down light like this one, not this one. This is plain. This one. Okay. So let's begin. I'm going to press Control N now. Oop. Control N and select General. I don't need to save. And here we are, beginning of the blender, the default cube. Okay, now I don't have my screencast on because I just installed this is the latest blender, blender 2.93. So I uh, know maybe it didn't support the screencast. Yeah, I'll figure out that later. Okay, so now let's begin. I'm gonna delete the camera and the light and the default cube. The reason we delete the default cube because we're not gonna use that one. It's good to be a flow, but nah, just delete. Okay, now. Shift A to add a uh, circle, okay? I'm gonna use a circle. And this one I'm gonna be extruded to the Z. Something like that. Okay? And for the bottom, actually, you can do this anything that depends on your styles and your liking, okay? And this I'm gonna. Extrude and scale, okay? Extrude scale means I press E and S and go something like this. Get something like that. And I'm going to extrude that to the Z. Okay. Now, over there, this is going to be our LED, so I'm just going to press F on it to fill, okay? And for the top here, also the same. F. Let's hope something. Let's hope it's okay. That uh, merge it by distance. We don't have any doubles, so that's good. Now let's add the subdivision surface on it. Now go to the spanner here. Add a modifier and subdivision surface. Okay. Can use bevel, but uh, I think this one is better. Let's try bevel. Increase. Let's try this. Nope, I'm not going to use the bevel because it gives something that block the shape there, okay? So it's better if you want it to be smooth, subdivision surface, okay? And you got something like that. It turned into something very weird, but it works, okay? Now let's fix some stuff. I'm going to press here, the own cage, so I know where I'm going to select. I think I'm just going to just go like this. Okay, I'm going to go to face select. I'm going to press the face here and press I. Okay, got something like that. Increase this one, okay? The level viewport. Something they would do. And for this one, it's trouble because, well, we can see that one. That's because of the fill stuff, okay? Now we can select this face and maybe press I, I believe. Yes, it is. Should fix the problem, okay? Now we don't want something that uh, here is gonna look sharp. I mean round, okay? Let's make it sharp. Add a few loop cuts, or you can just use the min crease. What I mean about min crease, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna go to H select, I'm gonna press Alt, hold Alt and select this one, and this one, and this one as well. Maybe this one too. <laughs> nah, not yet. And I'm going to press N now to bring the panel over here. And you can see it from the item. And there is the main crease. Now let's try. Should change shape. Ah, something like that. Yeah, something like that would do. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now let's turn this one. And maybe, I think it's this one. And let's try this one. Ah, yes, 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 yes. It does fix, and I, I, there's no much problem over there. That's good. Now, I'm going to select this, press M by distance, okay? Press M, right. What I'm saying is, I press A, and press M, and merge by distance, okay? If you merge at the center, well, that's a bad idea. Let's show you. That's a bad idea, which means all of those vertices in this middle now. Which means it's only turned into one. So I'm gonna control Z, undo those, and I'm gonna leave it like this. So there it is, guys. 
the basic shape of a LED downlight. Oh, don't forget to shade smooth. There we are. No issues at all. If no, let's shade it. And now I'm gonna stick this one to the white, the body, I, the body. So it's way better to rename those, okay? So you're not confused what color you're selecting. Okay, the body, I'm gonna increase the specular and the roughness. We don't want the roughness. Maybe just a little bit of specular. And for this one, the, the light, okay? I'm gonna select this one, I'm gonna hold Alt, select, and hold Shift, okay? Select like that, okay? Now, add another one, press New, this is gonna be the light, and hit Assign. Make sure you set this one to the light, okay? Not to the body, and Assign. And yeah, nothing's happening because we're using the basic basic uh principal bsdf though. so delete principal bsdf because we're gonna use the emission for the light okay go to the emission there uh connect that to the surface and should be like something like that it does it doesn't look much it doesn't do much actually it does and uh, the intensity i prefer maybe 12 or 3 um i'm gonna go with 6 Actually, it's quite powerful, actually, even it's six. So let's press go to this rendered uh, viewport shading. Uh, rendered, actually. <laughs> press that one. Look at that. It has something. And yeah. Now let's turn on the bloom. It should go something like that, okay? Let's increase the background. Maybe something blue. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know what Blender does, but yeah. Um, I'm just gonna stick with this black stuff there. Look at that. There's a LED flood light. I mean LED down light. So I'm gonna go to layout now. But then this and it's way better if we add some light here. Uh this one. Uh area. Scale. Increase the intensity. I mean the power. All instances it would do as well. Maybe 60. Okay. Grab that to be a Y. Rotate to the X. Shift D to duplicate. Rotate that to the X. Side by side. Okay. Now you got, look at that. Look at the basic shape of the LED downlight there. Don't worry about this one. This one, this problem is because of the light. Okay the two light that we use it's way better if you use on circle okay but if you want it to have a bloom you can use ev or you can use a volume scattered okay i'm gonna add the plane now grab it look at that it sure does some effects it has effects let's try ev it's still very good okay still okay for the ev so yeah, that's how you make a simple uh, downlight, okay? Very easy to learn, I mean easy to make as well. You can pick any different color as well, as long as you use the emission, okay? So that's how to model a LED downlight. <laughs> Very easy and quite lazy as well, but it's a good way to learn. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Okay, now bye.